I want to show you something. Isn't this a nice place to work? It's so nice. Look, some more flowers from my garden. That'll cheer us up during lockdown. We found out we're in lockdown until at least Sunday. So fingers crossed, not much longer after that. But I want to show you something else. Look, a neighbour left them on the fence for us. Isn't that so sweet? So when we met our next door neighbour, she said that there was a little box between on the fence between their house and her house. And there's a little wooden flag that kind of folds up and folds down. And when the flag's up, it means there's something inside. So when we were picking oranges off our orange tree the other day, we popped some into the box for our neighbour. And that was a couple of days ago. And then today she's popped some eggs in for us so isn't that nice isn't it nice to know i know one of our viewers commented in last week's video and said she finds it really interesting to know coming from overseas how australians become friends with their neighbors and how we interact with each other and i guess to say when to give an example when we moved here uh, matthew and i were gardening up the back and that's when our neighbour on one side um, said hello and we said hello and we started talking. We talked for about half an hour and she explained her little box, the little box idea. And I thought, wow, that's so nice. That's so good. The man that used to live here before us, he was a really handy man. Uh, I'm pretty sure he made the fantastic litter box that we've got. And he seems to, I can see a lot of things that he's made, a little bookcase and things he's made around the house. So he probably made that box, wouldn't surprise me. And we were also walking through the garden on the other side of the house on Friday, I think it was, when we met our next door neighbours on that side as well. And they walked over and, and said hello and that was really nice as well. So I guess that's just the way, that's the way that we met our neighbours here. A little bit different than the city, that's for sure. But how nice are the eggs? So nice, so thoughtful. We're going to love it here. Yeah, wood pile. Look. We're currently in lockdown, so we're not allowed to go anywhere, but we are allowed to go for a walk for exercise. And we've walked just five minutes from our house and we've never been here before. Kind of looks like a jungle, doesn't it? There's a river down there, but it's just amazing. All this overgrown bush and you can hear the birds. It's beautiful, isn't it? There's nobody around. Do you like my country shirt? <laughs> what do you think? So I'm doing some work because we can't go anywhere because of the lockdown but we are allowed to go and get milk or groceries and I think that's what we might go and do so we'll bring the camera with us just in case we see something that is worth showing. We're only a few minutes from where we live and we're allowed to go out to get some milk so that's what we've done but we just wanted to show you this secret little local spot a local person told us about this and they said that we should come down here after lockdown bring a bottle of wine, some cheese and some crackers and sit down here and that only locals know about it. Isn't it beautiful? It's really, really pretty, isn't it? And you can look that way too. You can see the sunlight coming through. Isn't this the best? This is why we moved to this area. All you can hear is the water, the birds, and sometimes you hear frogs too. It's like so good. But we're not allowed to dawdle because we are in lockdown. We're allowed to go and get our milk and we're allowed to walk there. 
but uh, we just wanted to show you this secret local spot along the way. We can't tell you where it is because then it wouldn't be a secret. But before we go, uh, we do want to give a special shout out in Bogota to Caro. Caro, we know that you watch our channel and we want to say hola to you especially and hope you are keeping safe and well and a big hello from Paul and I and our family. You know, there are so many kind messages that we get every week and it's, uh, it's amazing when we read them how, how nice this little community of people um, really is in our channel and it's just, we find it really humbling and really overwhelming to be honest and uh, so many nice people who watch our videos regularly. I uh, can't name you all but so many people are so thoughtful. Um, Emma H, Julie from the UK, Peter G, Artie Abbey, big hello to you, big hug to you and uh, of course Ramesh, uh, Mehmet in Turkey and the Bamf Lamb family on the Sunshine Coast, uh, they're the UK family on the Sunshine Coast who have been following us as well and they have their own channel and you can look, look them up, the Bamf Lamb family and also our friends at Little Grey Box and that's Matt and Phoebe, thank you we love watching your videos, you know that, and they're such great quality and I hope that you check out the little grey box as well. Anyway, so, so many nice people in the world. In times like this when you're in lockdown and things seem, you know, pretty awful, it's always good to see the good in people, isn't it, you know, and to remain positive as much as you can. So we're thinking of everyone. We're really hoping that we'll be out of lockdown by Sunday. The Chief Health Officer is optimistic this morning that we will be finished by Sunday but we won't know until the weekend so hopefully we'll be able to take you somewhere special next week and until then take care and we'll see you then. Hi um, this week's Tesla tip is I'm going to show you uh, the drive, driver profiles. We've set the car up so I've got a profile, Beth's got a profile, Matthew's got a profile and even Sarah's got a profile. You can link your phone, your iPhone, to the car and it knows when you're entering the car that it's me. So I can come in and automatically everything's preset to my preferences. And by, uh, same with Beth, same with Matthew, same with Sarah. So, first up, I want to adjust my mirrors to suit myself. So I go to the um, adjustments area, I press that and then on the left mirror and it shows you there that you can adjust the mirror with the um, the button on the, the steering wheel. So I can adjust that to suit my um, position in the car. And then I can do the right hand side to adjust my mirror there. I'll get rid of that. And the same with the steering wheel. If I want the steering to adjust the steering wheel, I just push, roll the button up and roll the button down like that. Um, if I go like that, it goes in. If I go like to the left, it comes out. You can save and that'll save that steering wheel position for me. Same with music, I touch that, I pick Spotify or I can pick radio or it automatically tunes in to any radio. BBC One, Radio One, Ibiza, around the world. And I know Matthew has listened to radio stations in Colombia. It makes him <laughs> a bit homesick for Colombia. <laughs> anyway, so I can select that, the, the volume, etc. And that just saves again to me. Now with the air conditioning, I can set it so at the moment the air is coming up and it's going over the sort of the top of my head so it's not blowing into my face. I can adjust it like that or like that and if I want it to come straight at me or down towards my knees or legs, um, I just do that and then I can save that as well to me. So when I come into the car, it'll automatically pre preset to that. I probably haven't learned every single position or setting in the car. Now this is the profiles, there's Beth. Beth. Oh, ugh, hang on. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how Beth drives like this actually. <laughs> so if Beth pushes the button for me, she, she'll touch there and push that and then... Uh, that's better. And same if I went... Matthews was on. And it adjusts a little bit but not too much. Um, and back to me. Uh, I don't know, Beth drives like the Hunchback of Notre Dame. 
No, she doesn't. No, she doesn't. <laughs> anyway, so it just shows you. So as soon as I, if I've got my phone on, it's like the key as well. You, you get a card as access, but your phone, you normally use the phone as your access. Uh, and it just knows, doesn't it? Just it just knows. The card knows as soon as I come in, it'll already um, have my name there. Yep. And the positions, the music, the air conditioning, etc., will all be how I like it. Yep. Which was great. I know the last car, every time I got into the car after Beth had been driving it, I'd, I'd spend about five <laughs> minutes readjusting everything. So this is just fantastic. And it's another another great feature of this car. I know we rave about it, but it is a pretty good car. Um, so, yeah, that's our Tesla tip for this week. We're going to run out of Tesla tips eventually. <laughs> <laughs> it was a bit hard because we're in lockdown. We're in lockdown. We're, there's another one, a really important one, and a really great one for ease of driving, and, and uh, um, you don't get tired so much when you're driving. But we'll show that when we're allowed back out on the road properly. So um, I hope that was interesting. Stay safe, everyone. See ya. Bye.